The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has, to decide, has today decided to award the 2024 Nobel Prize in Chemistry with one half to David Baker, University of Washington, USA, for computational protein design, and the other half jointly to Demis Hassabis and John Jamper, Google DeepMind United Kingdom, for protein structure prediction. They are antibodies that enable our immune response. So I would just leave you with a message that in order to understand how proteins work, you need to know what they look like. Uh, good morning, and please accept yeah. our warmest congratulations to receiving the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Thank you very, very much. I'm deeply honored. Uh, I, I, must, uh, I must ask, how do you feel right now? Uh, very excited and uh, very honored. And I'm really excited about, I think, all the, all the ways in which protein design can now make the world a better place in, you know, in health, medicine, and really outside in technology and sustainability. Uh, well, I was sleeping when the phone rang, and I, um, I, I answered the phone, and I um, heard the announcement, and then my wife began uh, streaming very loudly, so I, I couldn't really hear very well. We have known for over 50 years that all the information is in this pearl of strings. The floppy spaghetti knows what, what to do, but scientists, we don't understand that. And this is what we solved today. You know, today's prize is awarded to, uh, to the understanding. Now you can take a sequence of amino acids, in principle do Google search, and out comes the structure of the protein. You can also see it as the, the other problem. You start with the shape. I want to have this shape. What sequence should I make in terms of amino acids? And that's what half the prize is awarded for protein design, that we can make new proteins that don't exist in nature. Proteins do all the functions uh, that are important for life, and also they do all they, they cause all the troubles when we are disease, have diseases. So, in order to understand what proteins do, just basic understanding of life in different organisms and evolution of life, and you know, also coming to understanding diseases and why things go wrong, then we need to know the shape of the proteins. We need to know. Many times we find a gene that that is mutated and it causes a disease. Then we need to know what was that gene, that protein, supposed to do with form and the shape of the protein, we can figure that out. So it will bring us closer to, to you know, helping people in the, in the end, or, and, you know, making benefits for, 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 for humans.